Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zelda Iron Shield. And we're back right where we left, uh, last, uh, left off in last episode. Ho oh, oh, ho, tongue tied there. Hope you're having a great day in Middle Earth, my friends. Hope you have a nice drink or something. I have one of my favorite, these little Moroccan mint green teas. Oh man, they're my favorite. Unsweetened. I don't like to drink a lot of extra sugar in my stuff. I just like, I like all kinds of tea, but you know, I like to make sure they're. It's a nice little pop sound when you take off the lid. Always love that. So get yourself a nice drink, relax, sit back, and let's continue our adventure on Electric Tail today, my friends. All right, so I'm using the big long instrument today. So that'll be kind of fun, new sound. All right, and then we are here at the second hall, which is vast and amazing, and holy moly, look at that view. That is a far drop. And there's the top of the ceiling, and they've carved these things into looking like trees, right? It's pretty cool in the, in the second hall. They're actually part of the mountain, right? They carved them into looking like trees, though, the dwarves. So the dwarves appreciate trees and sunlight as well, as we found out in the last episode. All right, so I got to kill a couple more things here. <laughs> did I just say kill? Yes, I did. Just like that guy on <laughs> Forged and Fire, right? It will kill. Wait, what? You mean kill? No, kill. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, you have taken the weapons of the spears, throwing goblins and Khazad, um, Khazad Zarun, making the stair safer for those who wish to leave Moria to the eastern door. Sweet, we defeated some enemies. We're also supposed to find the source of the tremor, which I kind of feel is probably the troll that we killed in the other episode. We just didn't have the quest before because it didn't stop giving it to me for some reason. It's a pickup quest in the area, so... In this game, guys, when you walk past someone, an area, sometimes it'll give you quests for that area when you walk in. Like, kind of like it's like your own thinking. You're like, oh, I should probably defeat these orcs so they don't hurt people. That kind of thing, right? Because we're an adventurer, an awesome leader. I bet you that troll's source of the tremors. It was. <laughs> You have defeated the menace upon the stair. At least he wasn't the phantom menace, because I probably wouldn't have won. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a bad that was a bad joke, sorry. Um I need major need uh to There we go. I need to clear my inventory something fierce. Oh well, we'll worry about it in a minute. By the way, guys, I don't know uh this won't be for everyone as you watch this in the future. But I'm gonna do it right now for this character. Um, where is my little thing? There it is. So if you open the Lutra store, always check this, you guys, because occasionally they'll do sales, and I don't know if they still have it right now. But uh, yes, it is right now. Uh, this is the kind of stuff. So the large carryalls for crafting are always sold. The other ones aren't for some reason, which is kind of weird, like cosmetic and uh, decorative and decorations and stuff. Uh, carryalls. They're very handy. They're basically just more inventory space. But the large one's 50 spots, but it can be really, really expensive. At 1,995 Lotro points, which is a pretty decent amount, right? So, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get it, because it's only 498 right now, it's 75% off. So I'm gonna get one for this character. It buys it for the character you're on, by the way. So you know, it puts it on that character. But, on a side note, which is nice, um, where did it just put it? Uh, redeem store item. Oh, oh, I see. You don't have enough room. Yep. Okay, I know that. That's my. That's my issue here. Uh, we're gonna delete that. Boop. And I'm gonna get that. There it is. Large crafting carry all. My other one is almost full. Oh, I already had one of this character. But here's the nice thing about them, you guys. If you hover it, they're bound to account. So what that means is you can actually put them in your shared storage and your other characters can pick them up and use them as well. So it's like movable storage. It's fantastic. So no matter what, whoever, whatever character you buy it on, you can just move it to another character if you need another character. I like to have one on each character though because it helps take, pick stuff up. Like pick up things that are in your, you know, in your inventory that are wasting room. But again, that's not really gonna help me too much at this moment in time. Uh, we really don't need doubles of both cowbells though because they're identical. So. I hate to just destroy instruments, but there's no differences between some of these, so you can just buy them at a bard guy. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these. Little the ages, little the ages. Because it'll save us a lot of room. There we go. Alright. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! What is happening? 
my Norton is doing something to uh, my client. And it's been really annoying. Remember from last session too. Hold on. Ah, all right, fixed. Um, and uh, I uh, put everything on silent mode for those silly antivirus programs, which aren't silly. It's good to have those, but um, they can be a little frustrating as we all know as gamers. They're like, oh, what's this block? It's like, no, that was a signal coming from the gaming server. I already set up Lotro as one of my okays to come through the internet, dang it. All right, well, that's all right. Moving on. The time has come to drive forth the, the orcs, orcs from our kingdom. kingdom. Well done. Now I need not fear that my toes get impaled oh. by hurling spears when I begin my ascent. Yes. All right, we have so. seen naught of Durin's bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. Into Moria. I am here to look out at the great stone trees and see this legendary hall with my own eyes. I ere, ere I pass into the light. If you are going to go down with me, let us pay tribute to the dwarf statue from Durin's day that line the halls. Legend has it that there are brazers at the feet of the dwarves that at one, once cast an orange glow along the full length of the second hall. But these have been long, have been, long been unlit. Excuse me, keep reading it backwards. All right. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. Great events have been set in motion. I like this guy's voice. He's very interesting. I have traveled here to look upon the magnificent stone trees, but I find my meditation disturbed by hints of a strange odor. It is fleeting, but its source must be powerful in such a, dr a drafty, wide high ceiling hall. Will you find the source of the odor? Mm, I would hate to see even this stone forest tainted by the air, by the evils that have crept into Moria. Sure. What does this do? Oh, I see. Now he's going to help me. All right, let's go. Light the praises. They're on, oh, they're on this, this side of the hall. Oh, they're really on I have to go both sides of the hall. Okay, well, uh, let's go left, then we'll go right. How about that? We're already farther this way. All right, so off we go. We down we go, down, down, down the stairs. Aha! All right, it looks like these guys have a quest over their head. So I'm gonna kill this thing because it says it'll give me a quest. And it does. Many enemies prowl the second hall of Nud Melek. You should defeat the forces of evil that roam this hall. Aren't these just wild creatures? It's considered evil. Or is it just any cre anything? Oh, it's just anything. Wild creatures or evil. Okay. Woo! Yeehaw! Oh, I like this one. I like this instrument. We've never used this one before. Western on him. Ha ha! You can't beat our bluegrass. Sounds like an instrument using bluegrass. All right, got him. There's the brazier. The, oh wow, wow! Those dwarves are so much bigger up close. Oh oh my gosh! Look at how. Oh yeah, this place is easily 30 stories. Oh yeah. Now that I'm like standing down here. I mean, if a story is like up to here, maybe like right almost there that one, two, three, four, five, six. It's hard at this angle. Seven, eight. Oh, well, maybe maybe it's more like 15, 20. That's that's so big, though. That's huge. OK. I don't know. I just love that Lord of the Rings Online gives you the the immersion of showing you how actually big these places are, right? Because it's kind of hard for us to like conceptual, conceptualize, right? Is that, that's a word, right? Um, it's hard to think about, um, that's your word of the day, by the way. I made it up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I didn't make it up. It's, real, it's a real word. I just might've said it a little bit off. But anyway, moving on. It's really cool how Lord of the Rings Online really gives you that feeling of being to realize something. 
you know, to full, fully realize. I definitely think I used the right word, though. All right, uh, you have defeated many anim num number of enemies in the second hall. Wonderful. All right, we'll keep lighting these brazers, which again are an old type of fire pit, met usually metal. You look it up. You used a lot by the Romans and the Greeks, and it's been thousands of years. It's kind of everyone's used this kind of thing. It's almost like a fire pit on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, another thing to kill. Oh, you notice a great number of st uh, strangely glowing worms slithering about the feet of the stone trees in Nud Melek. You should use, see if the worms, um, I, the worms, Icor? There's a word of the day. There's a real word of the day. I don't even know that one. I'm saying, I'm saying it wrong? Ichor or Icor contains any luminescent properties that will be useful to the dwarves of the expedition. Okay, well, interesting. Sure, we'll do it. All right, we've lit all the brazers. Greetings. Wonderful. Now let us find the bridge of Khazadum, Zalan. I am glad to s you have you with me on this pilgrimage, for none of the historic landmarks of Moria should be viewed alone. Indeed, it is fun to go somewhere with a friend, so I do recommend, guys, if you ever go to see something, it is fun to go by yourself if that's what you, all you can do, but if you have a friend to go with, it does make it more memorable and fun sometimes. But yeah, I don't want to take it away from you, though, if you go see something in real life that's really, really cool by yourself. That's cool, too. That's really awesome. It's good. At least you got out to see it, right? And enjoy it from memory. Take some pictures. Then share those pictures with your friends. There you go. That's that's how you do that. You can't get a friend to go with you. I'm sure most people will want to see him. All right. So we never found the source of that smell over there, so we should probably go do that. Come on, Remy. We need to kill glowworms, though, so I'm gonna pick up these guys over here. Find the source of the smell. Well, here's some more worms we need. We might as well kill this one as we go by. Kozad, I menu. Baruch, Kozad. Is it these mushrooms? Are these the source of the smell? Yeah, I bet they are. Fungus cluster. I bet you just have to be at the front, and I bet you they're gonna make us go on the whole side to collect all the mushrooms. What do you bet? That's my guess. There's a cool looking room. Whoa, whoa. It's fun having your ambient light on. By the way, if you're in Moria, I haven't said this in a long time in Electro Tale, but I've said it in guides. But if you're in Moria, and you're having trouble with seeing around you, Go to your basic graphics and just bring up ambient light from nothing like this. If it's super dark, bring up ambient light all the way and then it'll look really good. And then the light around you too will also look cool if you have a goat with a little lantern because it looks like you're using the light. <laughs> the smell is overpow overpowering here. It's this guy, I knew it. It also looks like it's letting off a good, uh, good rip. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty gross. Am I like hiding behind it? Why can't it? Why can't that orc see me? I'm gonna click on it. Let's see what happens. The fungus ex ugh, excuses that punch into a foul old odor. All right. Um, on the bridge. Is that was that it? Oh, there's there. There I go farther. Okay.
Look at this place, you guys. It's amazing. This is where we came from. Again, this is where the elves of Lorien would probably normally come from the East Gate, right? To see everybody. Um, it also makes me think this probably will be the gate side that we see in the Amazon series if we see Kazato. Probably more than the other side. Eh, maybe not. Not necessarily. If they're coming from Linden, they're coming from the west side, so. We'll see. Alright, foul odor, blah blah blah. Alright, let's just uh, keep going. I understand they're getting a foul odor. Should I, odor, should I burn them? Like, should we get rid of them that way? They're a fungus growth. Burning usually works, right? Usually fire and brimstone. <laughs> There's the other one. I, they're really hard to click on. Look at how much I have to like find the exact spot with my mouse to right click on. <laughs> Weird. There we go. You've discovered the three clusters of fungus in the second hall. Alas, for the spread of a scourge in Moria, not even the fair stone trees are safe now. You wonder what has woke, um, woken the spores and stirred them to creep upward even to these dry halls. All right, uh, that's a little hint at one of the, the the raids in Moria, which is like one of the end things to do in Moria, and it's what a very awesome raid, mind you, which we definitely will do on a battle playlist. In fact, I plan on having quite a few battle videos over this next few. So if you're watching this later, go watch my Lutra battle playlist as well if you want to see some of the storylines and instances and raids. We've collected the valuable glowing Icor. Okay, I have to, I'm sorry guys, I have to know what that word means. I have to hear it said. Sam saying it right. Let's see. What does what does Google say? Icor. Icor, I was reading it right. Icor. So I said okay, I read it right. It says Greek mythology. The flood uh the fluid that flows like blood in the veins of the gods, or uh, a watery discharge from a wound. Ew, it's disgusting. I didn't need the second part. Um, okay. So the the fluid. So interesting. The, the, what its noun is the, flu, the it's Greek mythology. So the fluid that runs in Spain. So basically, the I cord would be kind of like blood. It's like mythological blood or something that isn't red blood. So I guess glowing, because they're glowing worms, we're checking out why does their, does their blood glow. All right, now we know. There's the word of the day, everyone. And I can't accept the quest, because I'm out of room, of course. All right. We're going to definitely clear out our inventory here later on. But let's get to the bridge of Casa Doom. By the way, I don't know if you can see ahead of us very clearly, but pretty epic. You can see a whole like city over there. Just look at I mean look how much time it's taking us several minutes to get across this place. Which is kinda of realistic. If you ran this hall in real life, it'd probably take you what a good amount of time. There's a bunch of worms again with their I core. I'm just glad that I read it correctly. A word I've never seen before in many, many Maybe I have seen, I don't know. I don't remember it though. You can see the reflection of the crystals. So there is only one crossing point in this cavern, and it's this little man-made orc bridge. <laughs> orc made, orc made bridge, I should say. Maybe it's dwarven made. It's just real quick. I don't know, but it doesn't seem extremely safe. Uh, uh. All right, we got across it, Remy. Good job. And there's lava down there. And this giant crevice of death. Look at that. Woo! Scary. Gotta be careful walking around here. There's a lot of spots to fall into your death. Wow, look at that. And the ceiling. This place is absolutely massive. 
So now this is the natural, the, the crack's edge. So this is the great crack, right? Where the Bridge of Khazad Doom spans right here. And this is the one, obviously, that you guys all remember. Um, that's where Gandalf falls. And basically, this is black, but it just keeps going, right? And then uh, there is the that opening over there is remember where the Marevel live up in the. Um, they live in Durin's Way right here, right? This area. And then here's the giant crack we're looking at. And then, uh, yep. And then it falls, right? Again, I have talked about this in other in, in other videos a little bit, but I want to say one more time now that we're here at the giant crack that so basically how moria works in lord of the rings online and this is real to the lore too but depending on where you're going up and down on this map uh when you look at it the lower sections and areas are lower so for example the foundations the flaming deeps and the waterworks are at the lowest points and some of them are uh farther apart so like if i was going to take it if you look at my hands right so you're looking at the map like this if you take it it actually turns into like the you know like this so you're like, they're, they're side to each other. Like, so the Red Horn Loads, for example, is slightly off from the Flaming Deeps. So the Flaming Deeps is lower. But the Foundations of Stone is actually underneath Noon Melek. So it's like underneath it. So that, that crack falls into the Foundations of Stone. There's a, an underground lake here falls in. That's where you see Gandalf fall, right? And then they climb the Stairs of Durin and you can actually see the Stairs of Durin going up in the Foundations of Stone, right here they start. And then you can also see them again in, um, there's a spot in Durin's Way, because Durin's Way is technically the highest point, which is also why the gardens are there, because they have the mirrors bringing light in. And then there's a spot you can go up onto the top of the mountain, and that is, of course, where Durin's Tower was above that, right, when they climbed all the way up the stairs, and then the Belrog falls and gets slain from the top of Durin's Tower, right? So again, this map is cool, but I'd love to see someone rendition it to show you the different levels and how they go from being all flat to like this, the different levels. So you have the Foundation of Stone, all these at one level, right at the lower part. Then you've got Nun Melek and Zelek Melek and um, the, the Great Delving are all kind of at the same level-ish, right? All in the middle, they're kind of above and slightly, slightly off. And then the Durin's Way is kind of the most Northern point. Slightly off again, but it's higher up still like like a staircase almost but uh the foundation stone is actually underneath noon melek so there's a little bit of variation with that but i always thought that was interesting in the game so just thought i'd point that out but let's just go look over here a little bit more since i'm here since we're here what is that it's a pretty rock it looks like it has nickel in it or something maybe copper all right here it is the bridge <laughs> All right, the Bridge of Khazad Doom is sundered. I wonder why. Oh yes, we remember now. The bridge was collapsed by a certain uh, Balrog of Morgoth and Gandalf. What do you want? Ah, oh, we have made it at last. The quiet, uh, quite a trek, and I am glad we made it together. But something is amiss. Oh, he looks very sad. Why are you so sad? May Durin return soon to his halls. What is this madness? The bridge is shattered, Zolan, in the voice of the rings. This is a tragedy, a tragedy I could not have foreseen. It is very sad. I do not need a Lord Master Staff. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set, set in, in motion. motion. I wish to know more about what happened here, Zolan. Why is the bridge broken and... Do you not sense an air of restlessness about this orcs nearby? If you could into inter excuse me, interrogate one of them and have their leaders, you might be able to find some out something about what happened. True, true. We could do that. We definitely could go find an orc and tell him what exactly happened here. And if he doesn't know, we'll kill him. <laughs> and if he does know, we'll kill him. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. That's pretty evil. Uh, well, they would they would probably eat us if they had the chance. So I guess they're not they're not really fully free of anything. But anyway, my friends, the 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 crack of doom, or uh, the bridge of Kaza Doom. Hope you had a great day in this episode. Uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Thanks to my wonderful patrons for your support. And I will see you guys all in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. 
and subscribe button zero button earned it next episode will be up there in the top left and another playlist will be over there so check them all out and have a great day in middle earth